you guys. <laughs> Their head looks a mess, but this is real. Like I did not. Hold on, wait. I didn't want to, um, you know, try to not make it authentic authentic so they literally just woke up from a nap hence why their heads look the way it look but yeah so hi you guys so say hi say hi so this is Khalil hi and this is Kaylani and they are about to be one you about to be one on Friday yeah on Friday so y'all, I wanted to do a video of us <laughs> reacting to the story time of me telling y'all when I first found out I was having twins. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get into it. actually putting up my pregnancy reveal pictures so I just wanted to do a story time because even though I was crying now I can laugh about it <laughs> it just kind of like just kind of like reminisce like yo like I really that was really like traumatic time <laughs> in my life even yeah. though it was recently hey! um I know I look <laughs> I don't look my best. I, I just went and took my photos for my pregnancy reveal. I took it at the beach though. It, it was super windy out there. So I did have some curls in my hair, but they dropped. So this is what we're gonna, you know what I'm saying? We on some chills today. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I'm gonna be very detailed because I'm that type of person to where if I have, if I really wasn't like there, I want every single detail so I can visualize yeah, well, it. Let me get your So. Down. I had my doctor's appointment July the 31st and my appointment was at my ultrasound appointment was at 8 30 and that was my first ultrasound appointment because I had to wait until I got eight weeks so I had already been seen by the doctor at that point but they only just like confirmed my pregnancy so they had to wait until eight weeks you know just do the ultrasound make sure everything was okay so I remember um, I woke up early that morning. I woke up and I got myself together, put my hair like in a real, you know, it was in a ponytail, but I made sure I did my edges. I put some perfume on. I, I made sure I looked like something because I've been in the house all this time. So I just wanted to, you know, look cute. I was excited for that day because it was going to be the first day that I actually got to see my baby and my stomach and actually confirmed that there's really a baby there. So my boy, um, my boyfriend ended up coming to get me and he, even though he couldn't like go into the appointment, he still wanted to take me to my appointment because, you know, he just wanted to be there. So I got to my appointment at like 8.15. When I got to my appointment, they, I had to do, for some reason they wanted me to do, you know, the, diet, the to check for gestational diabetes where they have drink that drink and you have to like wait an hour so they can draw your blood they had me do that at my eight week appointment so when i got there checked in they had me go and pick out what flavor i wanted i chose orange so i remember sitting there and i literally drunk that drink in like two minutes so i was <laughs> why did i have to tell y'all how long it took for them drink. to call my name to come do the ultrasound i remember 8 30 hit and i'm like why didn't you call my name like why ain't nobody come out here because w there was no one in the ultrasound room because i actually accidentally um went to the room because i thought they wanted me to go right away so there was nobody in the room so 8 30 came and i was like all right it's 8 30 so they should be calling my name so 8 35 came around she still ain't come out. So now I'm getting impatient because I'm like, what are they doing? Like, I'm, why are you taking so long? 
Like, I really want to see my baby. I want to see what's going on. Ta, let her be you know. <laughs> I want to make sure everything is okay. So she finally came and got me at like 8.40. When I got into the room, she gave me a long rundown of everything to do. She told me to go in the bathroom, give a urine sample, take my pants off and underwear, and use one of the sheets, um, like, you know, the paper sheets that they give you to cover up. She said, wrap that around me and then come one out. So... I came out the bathroom, put my urine sample down on the counter, and I was about to get on the table. And I remember before I got on the table, I asked her, I said, um, is it okay if I go ahead and FaceTime dad? So she was like, she was like, um, of course you can FaceTime him. She said, but let me just get some measurements first. Make sure, you know, see how exactly how far along you are and everything like that. And then I'll let you get him on the line. So I was like, okay, cool. So I sat down on the, well, I laid down on the table. They had Stop to use, um, instead of them using like the normal ultrasound thing, they had to use the one that actually go in you because I was so early. So I'm just laying there, you know what I'm saying? Looking at the screen because, you know, they had a screen so you can look at it. You know, when is that early? Sometimes you really don't, unless you're familiar with it, you really don't know what you're looking at because it don't look like a baby at, at that early. So. When she was doing that, for a split second, I seen like, you know how like if you're pregnant, it's like a black hole and the baby is inside that hole on the ultrasound. So for a split second, I seen two holes, but she was moving so fast that I thought maybe I was just tripping. So I was oh, like, you won't tripping. I was like, maybe I'm just, you know, not paying it no, like maybe I'm just looking at it wrong. So after about, it wasn't even five minutes, I probably say, two minutes maybe two or three minutes went by and she was like well go ahead and get dad on the line because there's some news that i want to give to both of y'all so when she said that i mean was like what news yeah what too. News? <laughs> <laughs> what news you want to give to us yeah, too. but before i could even fully yeah, too. like form thoughts to go on my yeah, head too. she said Go ahead and get dad on the line because it's some news that I want to get both of y'all. Then she asked me, have you been experiencing any bleeding? So I actually have. I, well, at that at that time, I was. But it was nothing crazy. It was just like spot in which online it says that it's normal to doctor tell you that you can experience spotting early in when you're early on in your pregnancy. Things like that. So I was like, yeah. And she was like, oh, okay. So I'm thinking now it went from, now it went from what she about to tell us to I'm thinking something is wrong and she want to just get dad on the line so she can tell him at the same time. So I got him on the phone. I had um, the camera facing the little monitor. And when she, um, when I got him on the line, I was telling her, okay, he's on the line. She still ain't tell us right away. She, it was like, probably like it seemed like it was a long time that went by but it probably was like a couple of minutes that went by and she just was like well i wanted to tell both of y'all like spit it out girl. Said, well, i wanted to give both of y'all the news like, to tell me. that you're having twins <laughs> y'all <laughs> look at y'all visual so you know when you're on the ultrasound table right when you on the ultrasound table, you lay back like this. You know what I'm saying? You like you lay back because they eat on your stomach. So I'm laid back, you know what I'm saying, looking down like this, trying to look at the monitor at the same time. So when she said, I wanted to let y'all know that y'all have a twin, I said, twins. <laughs> I said twins. As soon as I said twins. <laughs> Not my brain showing in my tracks. I know. Yeah. words out my mouth the ultrasound technician she was she was constantly giving us like information like um you're such and such weeks he here is the baby y'all i don't know what she would listen listen 
I was not worried about anything that she was saying. She was just going on like what she said was normal. And I, I had to apologize to her. I said, I'm so, because I literally was like, <gasps> I'm just crying, like snot coming down my nose, crying, can't even form words. And my boyfriend wasn't saying anything because he was, as, he was yeah, just he's a shot the phone, out. honey. <laughs> And he was on FaceTime, so his mouth was just dropped. The only thing I remember her saying after that was, here is baby A heartbeat. I don't even remember her saying anything about baby B. I don't even remember y'all. I just was like, and crying and crying and crying. I could not stop crying. So when I finally got up from the table, from you know her completing the ultrasound, um, I remember she gave me like it's like a magnet that they give you that say baby's first picture or per first photo and she gave me two of them because it was two babies and I'm just like this is too much honey <laughs> what is happening <laughs> like, <laughs> you guys like it was just so much at one time that I had to digest like it just was too much so then um, I got up from the table. I was putting my clothes on, y'all. I put my pants on backwards. That's how distraught I was. I put my pants on backwards. She, and the ultrasound lady started laughing at me. She said, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to laugh at you. She said, well, it's just funny. It ain't. So, it ain't funny. I just was so distraught that I put my pants on backwards. My boyfriend wasn't saying anything, so I had to get him off the phone. Because oh, that's the person that I need you to console me with words. Like, he wasn't me. there. He couldn't physically be there. <laughs> so I just felt like I was all alone in this. So I hung up with him. As soon as I got out of that ultrasound room, well, I had to go take my urine sample to the lab. I took my urine sample to the lab. Then I went to go sit back down and, and I was waiting for um the hour to be up for them to check my blood for the gestational diabetes so it when as soon as i sat down i had called my mom and i got on the phone and i was crying so hard that i couldn't even really get the words out she was like that what's wrong and doctors were walking by asking me are you okay are you okay and i'm like yeah i'm fine i'm fine so I was sitting there and my mom okay. got on the phone and I'm trying to tell her what's going on. A doctor came by and she was like, are you okay? I said, yes, I'm fine. But instead of her just walking away, she came and sat down next to me and wanted to talk. And I really honestly, like, this sound mean, y'all, but I didn't want to talk to her. Like, I just want to be like, get out of my face. Like, just leave me alone. I need some time. <laughs> like, I just want to talk to my mother. Like, I just needed time to talk to somebody that know me. Like... I just needed time and she wasn't there. So when I told her why I was crying, she was like, oh, she was like, I'm a twin. And I wanted to say, I don't care. Like, she <laughs> to say, but, you know, I just, you know, I was being nice about it. And I just, she, I really didn't say much to her. She just was like, you know, it'll be okay and things like that. And um, so finally she got up from sitting next to me and I was talking to my mom and I was like, mom, I was like, they told me I'm having twins. And when I told my mom, she said she started tearing up and she was like that. She was like, I know right now, it's just, I know you thinking like, how are you going to do this? And she, said, like, I, she was like, I promise you it's going to be okay. And you know, at the time you guys, like I did not feel like that it was going to be okay. Like, my mom knew how I was feeling, so she knew not to be like, congratulations, oh my goodness, that's amazing. Like, she knew not to say all that. She knew to give me words of encouragement to let me know that it's going to be okay because she knew in my mind that I was thinking about it ain't going to be okay. So I got on the phone with my mom because they had called me to come Um take my blood which that came back fine so then i had to go back in the lobby and sit down and wait for the doctor to actually come get me no i had to go back in the lobby and sit down and wait for them to um call my name so they can like enter all of my information i guess because that was like technically my real first ob appointment so they wanted to enter all of my information give me my official due date and things like that so <laughs> When I was sitting down back in the lobby, I actually called my sister, my oldest sister, because she has twins. And she wasn't answering the phone because she said she was working out. 
So I was just sitting there. I was just sitting there waiting for them to call my name. And I'm just sitting there like crying, tears coming down my eyes. Because I'm just sitting here mm -hmm. thinking like, why is this happening to me? Why, Lord? Why is this happening to me? Like, that's why, all Lord? I think. So <laughs> they, found, they called my name to come give my, all of my information. Like, I don't know what they call, but there's a lot of people that enter information into the computer. You know what I'm saying? They was, yeah, she, that's what she was doing. So she was like, are you okay? I was like, yeah, I just found out that I'm having twins. So she was like, oh, I'm a twin too. So once again, I ain't want to hear that. So then somebody had came to her desk and was asking me, was I okay? And I and I told her, you know, I just found out I'm having twins. And she was like, oh, well, how many do you have at home? And I said two. And she made a face like, dang. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people don't understand. And that's exactly why I did not tell like literally i did not tell i told my mom my dad and my older sister because my older sister got twins i didn't want to tell nobody about me having twins because for one i didn't want anybody in that instance even though she probably didn't think about what she was doing because it was just an immediate reaction like lady i'm already thinking all of these things through my head you sitting there making a face when i'm telling you that i already have two kids and i've been told that i'm having twins and like you making a face like dang you think that's helping how i feel like that's why I didn't want to tell anybody because people don't think about what they say before they say it. Like I didn't want nobody asking me, twins, how are you gonna do that? You know, what are you gonna do? How do you feel? Like I didn't want nobody to ask me any of those things. Like the people that I told were the only the people, you know, those were the people that needed to know and those were the people that made me feel better about it. And um I just I just didn't want anybody to put their opinion on what I was going to do. I just did not want to hear none of that. And so it, that just made, made me mad because I just was like, why are you asking me? And they gonna make a face, you know what I'm saying? You see them crying, you're not making it no better. So anyway, I, I went back into, after I was done with her, I went back into the lobby and I was sat down and I was waiting. Now I was waiting for the doctor to call my name. So when I sat back down to wait in the lobby, my oldest sister finally called me back. And when I told her that they told me that I was having twins, she was like, uh-uh. I said, yes, they Honey, did. I was like, not about that. No, they didn't. I said, yes, they did. <laughs> she said, stop playing. I said, I ain't playing. I said, you hear me crying? What you think I'm crying for? <laughs> so she was like, I can't remember her exact words after that. But pretty much, I know she just was saying that, you know, we'll figure it out and it'll be okay. And I had to get her off the phone because um, the doctor was coming to come get me. So as soon as the doctor came and got me, she started rubbing my back, you guys. And you know how, like, I don't know if y'all ever seen that meme where they be like, when somebody asks you, are you okay? And you just start crying. Like, that's how it was. Like, I already was crying. But when she started rubbing my back, I just started bawling even more. And she was like, come on, let's go to my office. And mind you, this was not even my original doctor that I picked. This was a doctor that was like not filling in with her, but no alternative doctor in the office. Everything so she never met me a day in her life. Never met me a day in her life. So she was rubbing my back. And she was like, come on, let's go to my office and chat. So as soon as I got in her office, she was like, um, what's on your mind? So I pretty much told her everything of how I want twins. I told her that that was on my mind. Two kids at home, and I said, and even though my kids are not babies, it's just like I already have two kids at home, and I just was like, you know, this is just a really emotional time for me because this is not something that I was expecting. It caught me off guard, and I said, I'm just sitting here trying to figure out how am I gonna do this. And I'm like, it's not even It'll about fine, the financial baby. part. It's just about got like, it. two kids at one time. And I know that it's been done before, but it's just you like, you know, when something Mommy happens to it. you, right? you don't think about what right? who else did it or how they got through it. All you right? can think about is how am I going to get through this? And that's all I could think about was how am I going to get through this? All I could think about was, oh my gosh, like two babies at one time. Like I have to wake up in the middle of the night for two babies Ooh, like you know even though, of course he's there to help me 
But it's just like, it's just all of these thoughts were going through my mind at one time. And I literally just, oh my gosh, my lash coming off. And I literally, you guys, I just, <sighs> and surprisingly, you guys, the first question that she asked me was, okay, she said, I understand everything that you're telling me. She said, first, let me ask you, do you want to continue on with the pregnancy? You guys, when I tell you, and I'm going to start crying because I just feel like so many people put their opinion on if you keep a baby or if you don't keep a baby. And it's like, people always form an opinion, but it's like, they're Thank not the God. ones Thank taking care God. of that Thank child. You Thank you and Thank you God. for her, Thank you. you know, for her to actually ask me that instead of just saying, oh, that's such a blessing for her to actually care yeah, enough love. to ask me, I do you want to continue so much. on? I love y'all. But her to actually ask me that, that meant so much to me. And I'm sorry to cry, y'all, but it's just. <sighs> if you're going to be fine, Yvette. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine, girl. It just meant so much. Because out of everybody that <clears throat> I was coming in contact with in that doctor office, for her to actually care enough to hear me out you know and ask me if I want to continue on you know it just and, and she wasn't saying it in a way like that she would judge me if I said yes she just was asking me because at that time I felt like I could not do it you know you can do it so you go do it girl I, her, I was like and you gonna do it damn good. Give me a minute, y'all. I told her that yes, I was gonna continue on with pregnancy. And she was like, okay. She was like, well, I don't know your religious background. She said, but I wanna tell you that God would never put more on you than you can handle. Oh Lord. And I just started crying even more. You will not. God will not, he will not, I'm Get telling together, you, Lord. he will not put on board. I told you her I wanted to continue on with the pregnancy. Mm. She just was like, right now, I Lord. know that it's so many things going through your head. And God, she just was like, you, I thank you, I thank you. As God, time go you. on, it'll get better. And she said that, you know, it's some information that I want to give you about twin pregnancy she said that do you want that information now or would you like for me to just give it to you your next appointment because i know you've been going through a lot so i told her i said you know just go ahead and give it to me because i might as well like i started you know what i'm saying like just give it me the information because it's like girl it ain't nothing else that you can say that's gonna just like i ain't gonna say ruin my day but it's nothing else that you're gonna say it's gonna be like that's gonna make it worse so she just uh she pretty much was telling me that with twins you know they usually induce you early so i'm gonna have an earlier due date then what was expected and she said that everything everything looked fine with the ultrasound and she was telling me that both of my babies, they're in their own sack. So she said that's a good thing because they're getting their own nutrients instead of being in one sack. So she pretty much that's all the information that, oh, she was just telling me that I'm going to have pretty much more visits than I would with a normal pregnancy and I'm going to have more ultrasounds. And so that's pretty much all that she was telling me. Um, <coughs> And once I got finished with her, I was done after that. Once I got finished with her, I went home. Well, I, I, I left home. And as soon as I got to the car, I just, I walked right into my boyfriend's arms and I just started crying. And he told me, he was just like, come on, let's get in the car, you know, because people was looking at us. <laughs> 
when we got home. Um, he had to go to sleep because he just had got off work. Uh, so he he just got off work, didn't even go to sleep yet. Took me to my appointment, and um, so he got he went to sleep, and I finished working. And fast forward to later that night, that was a Friday. That whole weekend, we woke up, like I would wake up at like three or two in the morning and we would be pretty much up for hours and just- Looking at each like, other. We would just stare at each other. We would just stare at each other. And you know, you know how like no words are coming out but so many words are being said. You know, so many things are being said to each other and I honestly appreciate him so much, you know, because if he wasn't there, because yeah, like my mom, my dad, my sister, you know, my family is there to support me. But if he was not there, you guys, it would be so much harder. Like, and one thing I can't say is like, when I found out about the twins, before I could even leave out the doctor's office, um, my mom had told my dad, and my dad texted me and was like, your daddy is so happy. And that meant so much to me because, like, me and two kids death. early, I'm not saying that my dad wasn't he happy about it, but death. you know, what parent is going to be proud of their child having kids when they're so young? You know what I'm saying? Like, I was a minor. So... For him to be happy about this pregnancy and happy about the person that I'm having children with and, you know, just love him to death and love me and just happy, that means so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, I can literally talk to my dad about anything when it comes to these babies, you know, with the babies because he's so happy about it. So for the remainder of Friday, I didn't cry. Saturday, I didn't cry. Sunday came and like my boyfriend had left me in the room by myself for like not even 30 minutes and when he came back in the room I just broke down crying and he was asking me what was wrong and I just was pretty much like I just let everything out and I also wrote in my journal to God and just you know, I pretty much was telling him that I don't know what you're trying to show me or what, why you're putting this on me, but I know it's for a reason. And I told my boyfriend the same thing. I just was like, you know, I just feel like it's a reason why, why this is happening. I just feel like it's a reason. I don't know what the reason is right now, but I feel like it's a reason. It's a reason. And... It's a reason. Like, my sister, she also yeah. told me, she just was That's like, horrible. that you had such rough pregnancies your first two times that don't cause this pregnancy to be stressful and you worrying about how you're going to do this. And then you look back and be like, I wasted my whole pregnancy stressing about it. She was like, just know that everything is going to be okay. Like, y'all will figure it out. And ever since she told me that, you guys, like, I just took that advice and I just been making it the best that I can. And it's like, you know, it took us, I'm not even going to say a week. It even took a week for us to, like, really, really accept it. It took us about, like, four days or something like that because... Not even a whole week later, I had to end up going back to the doctor because I started bleeding and it was like not just spotting, like I was constantly bleeding. So I went to the doctor to see what was going on and they had to give me an ultrasound, which everything is fine. But in that moment that when I didn't know everything was fine, I was worried to death about my babies. And that's so crazy how I went from crying so bad because I'm like, why is this happening to me? To me just being worried about my babies and making sure that they are okay. And like, when I got back to the, when I went to the doctor for the second time because I thought something was going on, it was the same ultrasound technician, which I didn't even realize it was the same one because she, you know, they have masks on right now. And I was in a whole <coughs> different location. 
Um, it was the same like company, but a whole different location. So when I walked in there, she was just was like, you seem like you're in much greater spirits this time. And I was like, oh, that was you that gave me the ultrasound. And she was like, yes. I said, yeah. I said, I don't feel, you know, I said, I'm My nose is itching, y'all. I'm not digging up my nose. My nose is itching. I was this ultrasound. You know, even though it was, she was doing it to check on to make sure everything was okay. I saw baby A was in there just a boobie. Like, it was just a boobie. And baby B was just chilling, but I still seen the heartbeat, so I was happy. And they still that. the same and way. And I went to go talk to the oh, doctor, oh. and the doctor was like, she was like, you look so much better this time. She just was like, last time she said, I was so worried about you. She said, I just wanted to hug you all day because, you know, you just, she was like, you, I could have told you that your eyebrows was on fire. <laughs> and you would just be like, thank you. And I was like, yes. That's how I felt. Like, my mind was just so, I was like a deer in head. Like, like my mind was just so like, oh my gosh. So, I ended up changing my doctor over to her because I just feel like that she, the best doctor in the world. She just have great bedside manner and I feel like that she actually Such a good cared. Doctor. Like, I feel like she actually cared. Like, she actually remembered my situation out of all of the patients that she see. She remembered my situation and how I felt and things like that. And then even, even the second time when I had the second ultrasound and she was, you know, asking me, well, telling me that I look so much better. She was just okay. like, well, tell me everything. She was like, how did the family take it? So... It just, she just, you know, I just was like, yeah, like I have to keep her up as my doctor because she just, her whole vibe, her energy, it just was so like attracting to me. So now how I feel right now, you guys, like I'm happy. Um, I can't wait to find out what I'm having. I would prefer to have two girls. No, I do not want two boys because a boy in the we already have one boys. So I, I want two girls. I would even take a boy and a girl. I don't feel like it's gonna be a boy and a girl. And I just like my boyfriend has just been so amazing. Like I can't ask for a better man to experience this with. Like when I tell you guys, he has been here every step of the way. Like, he's been coming to me, and, you know, when it, when I'm in a new week, like, once I go to a new week in my pregnancy, he'd be like, well, what are, what, what are our babies now? So, he downloaded the app so he can know. But sitting there watching videos, he'd be looking stuff up. You know, if I complain about anything, he looks it up to see what it may be. You know, and when we're laying down together, he just always, always showing affection to me. Always just... If he's not rubbing my stomach, he's just kissing on me or it's just for a moment. It was like overwhelming because I'm like, get off of me. Like, <laughs> I had two, two babies in me and I feel fat and I just, but I told myself that you better not ever open your mouth and complain about it because everything that you have been through when it comes to men, I can't even open my mouth and complain. I can't. So if he want to be on me, if he want to be attached to my hip all day, every day, I'm going to allow him to be. Mm -hmm. But he's just been amazing. And he just kisses on my stomach so much. He'd be kissing on both sides. He'd be like, hey, girls, because he want girls. <laughs> so what you say is going to be boys. He'd be like, watch him out. So he's just happy. And that makes me happy because to see him happy. And that makes it so much better. Come here. And, he just constantly wow. made sure that I'm okay, asking me, am I okay when I get up? Am I okay? How you feeling? You feeling sick? You know, he just, he's there. He's there. And I knew he was going to be there because he wow. he was the same way when I wasn't pregnant. Just always affectionate, always just wear, you know, just making sure I'm good. So now that I'm pregnant, it doesn't surprise me at all. And I just... I'm just so appreciative of that. And, you know, I honestly, I, I know that God is doing this to us for a reason. I don't know what the reason is. I don't know. But it's for a reason. So, that's where I am yet. That's where hey. I am, you guys. Like, 
that's the update on my pregnancy. So I'm gonna, of course, be doing videos, you know, showing you. I'm gonna stop it right here, you guys. I'm gonna try not to make it into two parts. Hopefully I can make it into just one. But I just wanna say like, looking back on everything that I was saying, like if I could, if I could see where I would be at right now, then I would just be there to rub my back, tell you like, girl, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be a damn good mom to twins. You're gonna have two healthy babies that you love so, so, so much. So, so, so much. And they're gonna be beautiful babies. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. Mommy love you. I love you. Not paying me no mind. <laughs> but you guys, this is to anybody that's out there pregnant with twins right now, or if your twins are young and you're worried, this is the video. This is the video right here. This is this is just proof. It's proof. Y'all, I didn't know right from left when I found out I was having twins. I didn't know how, why. I didn't know none of that. I just was so like distraught. I was so just confused and for me to hear myself like I know I recorded this video but it's been so long I don't know exactly what I said but for me to hear myself keep telling myself like I know it's a reason I know it's a reason I still say those words to this day matter of fact we just celebrated Valentine's Day and I literally was telling their dad that at the table that they're about to be one and you know I feel like they're here Everyone has a purpose, but I feel like they were given to us for a reason. And I feel like the reason is unfolding right before my eyes. You know, I don't, you know, it, it's still unfolding now, but it's a reason. It's a reason that they were given to me. It's a reason they were given to us. And I just love them so much. I love y'all. I love y'all. And even thinking, you know, hearing the doctor ask me if I, you know, me saying that the doctor asked if I wanted to keep them. Now, I couldn't even think about not keeping my babies. Like, I love y'all so much. But they mad at me because they hungry. Y'all hungry? Eat, eat. So, thank you for watching this video, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are a mom that's pregnant with twins or have small, like, newborn twins, or, like, if you're just worried about it, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And I mean that 100% wholeheartedly with everything in me. It's going to be fine. Look. Look at me. Look at me. Look at that. Look at that video. And then look at me of how I am right now. It's going to be fine. I love my babies so much. And I'm doing it every single day. I don't know how. I, I, I say that a lot. I don't know how I'm getting through it. But I'm getting through it. And I believe wholeheartedly God will never Put more on you than you can bear so with that being said i'm about to feed them because they're you know they're getting antsy now and you know thank you for watching this video y'all i know it's long i love you guys so so much and remember that everything is going to be okay all right all right so i'll see y'all in my next